Hello guys and welcome to a new video and in today's episode I will be doing a recap of this season of the year 2022. In this video I will go through every stages we went through during this year from the pre-season all the way to autumn. This year have been a roller coaster of highs and lows that's why in the end of this video I'm going to talk about what I've learned. Today we're recapping both the highs and also the lows. Let's roll the intro and get started with a recovery session in the gym. that's how you make a smoothie with just berries and yogurt in about five minutes. Don't even ask me what happened here. All right, time to hit the gym, let's go. home now a one hour session 30 minutes on the bike and then 30 minutes of core last exercise i did the hanging leg raise i haven't done it before so much so i only did a few to work on the technique now i will be eating some dinner i think mom had prepared some lasagna then i will watch sweden versus mexico in a friendly game on this day when i'm uploading this video on sunday the world cup will start so i would like to know which team do you think will win the world cup and the thing is sweden isn't playing the world cup uh, they didn't qualify so yeah but croatia did but that's the team i'm cheering for all right so now i thought i was going to start the recap of the season 2022 and we're going to start in the preseason where we played our first game against IFK Stocksund, a friendly game. We had loads of new players on the team who were there on the trial. We had nil-nil in the halftime and then we lost 5-0, which were a really cold shower to this, this year. Anyway, we bounced back a little bit playing against uh, Tabby, who were a Allsvenska team. I don't know if they're still or if they dropped this year. And we lost that game as well. 2-1 but if i remember correctly i did a okay game i did a few saves in there so we didn't have the best start of this year and i need to add that i'm only talking about the games i played because we had another keeper and we played 50 50 especially in the preseason. but i can tell you the game he stood wasn't really any differences and then 
we went on to play against uh, AIK. Last year, AIK's boys 17 won the boys 17 Allsvenskan and became Swedish champions. So we knew we were going up against a tough challenge. And in that game, I did miraculous saves. Could have been the best year of the game, probably is. Lost that as well, 2-1. But I felt like from my performance, I was kind of happy about what I contribute during that game. What a game. Just what a game. I don't know what to say. And then our last game in Liga Cupen. Liga Cupen is a pre-season tournament. Was against Norrköping and Norrköping completely outplayed us. Won 6-0, I think. And I played that game. I don't think I uploaded it because afterwards I couldn't watch it. I watched a few actions on the games, I watched the goals, did a bit of analyzing, and then I took the game, put it on the hard drive, and didn't watch it until one week ago when I did the full season uh, highlight. And later in the video, I'm going to tell you why, what I learned, and all of that. But now, let's get in this football session. And I have to add, I feel a bit sad for this guy who celebrated in front of the GoPro and we played against Norrköping. I mean, he thought it was going out on the YouTube channel, but sadly it didn't. But here you go. Of course, gotta put it in a video. Alright, session done. I will be back here after work and do a bit more of uh, distribution training. I will try to do a bit longer distribution. As you saw, I worked mainly on technique this morning, but this afternoon I'm going to work on technique and a bit on distance as well. Anyway, need to hurry to work now, start in 20 minutes. Okay, change of plans. I was a bit tired after work, so instead I head home and now I'm going to edit a bit and chill and then I got a team training this afternoon. And the reason why I didn't go to the pitch was because I have a team training this afternoon and I was a bit tired in my legs. Anyway, after team training, if I have some energy left, I might ask someone and we can ping some balls to each other just to work on that longer range of distribution as I was talking about this morning. All right, I've been doing a bit of editing the last hour and now I thought I was going to continue on our story throughout this year. So after the Oiko game, we went on a trip 
to Gotland to have a training camp there and then it was game on. It was season premiere the next week against Stocksund. We lost that season premiere and then we had a tough spring. We lost a few games when I played and also when the other keeper played. And then on the vlog I show you a few games of the season, a few games from the backup league because when I didn't play in our league I played the backup league and vice versa with the other keeper. I think I did three or four games in a backup league. We traveled to Bålänge to play against Brage and Brage scores two goals in the first 10 minutes and then in the second half we come out they get a free kick and it's slightly to my right. I'm thinking okay it's an easy shot I'm just going to catch it but somehow I dropped it and they tap it in to 3-0 and that was really tough for me and for the team because we had control of the, over the game. And I think we managed to score two goals in the end and the game ended 3-2. And still after that mistake, I make a few, I think I make three or four good saves. So I came back after that, but still it hurts a little bit. And at that point I felt like something was stuck. I needed to do something and that was when I did the video where I woke up one hour earlier than I'm used to. Not because it would help me to improve or perform better, but just because I wanted to break the cycle. We can't forget that I had some good saves throughout the spring. I made some good games. And when you have tough periods like this, when you're losing and you feel like you're not improving, you have to remember the good things as well. Anyway, then it was time to break the cycle, as I said, and I also had my graduation, which brought in a little bit of extra positive energy. And then two days after my graduation, we play against Engby, where I'm making a huge, miraculous save before the halftime whistle. And in the end, we win that game 1-0, our first clean sheet of the season. The week after, playing against Frey Tabby, nail nail in that game another clean sheet for me a few really good saves i felt like the team started performing and we were playing better however then sunswal was going to take all of that away from us and they were going to win 2-0 the week after we played 2-2 against leading two days after i went to croatia all right time for some training and i think i'm going to bring out the boss match today because it's been a while since i used them since i played a game and I wanted to like have the feeling of catching almost everything. Let's get down to pitch.
the balls were just flying all over the place due to the snow. So a few great saves, a few minor good actions, and that's what a training session should be. Anyway, I will talk more with you tomorrow when I will continue on the journey of the recap of 2022. During the summer break, me and the family, we got the worst possible news you can ever get. That his mother, my grandma, had passed away. The first league game that I played after the summer vacation was against EF Kostok Sund and that's also one of my favorite games this year because I make like in the second half probably four or five incredible saves. And then the week after we went on to travel to Örebro and play against Örebro on Bern Arena. The arena is incredible, one of the best I've played on this year. However, in that game Örebro completely destroyed us. 7-0 and fair play to them they played beautiful football and that was also one of those games where i just watched a few actions and then learned and let go because i knew after that game we were coming up against a few very important games where we needed to claim three points so i didn't want to have that negative thinking and watching over the other brew game multiple times and after watching that game one week ago i see that i make a few good saves and good actions so it's important to not fall into the trap on only thinking on the negative stuff and after that game we went on to win a few one against Boden with 5-0 one against Smedby at home two games against two teams that were under us in the league table that we needed to win so we didn't fall into the relegation zone and then we continue with our momentum to win against Brage to win against Engby also for me I had a streak on three clean sheets and as you know that got broken from a very interesting penalty call by the ref <laughs> And then the two last game that I played this year is against Lidinga and Frey Tabby. Both of the games were very intense where I had to make a few saves. And I mean, the last minute save against Frey Tabby to finish the season, I couldn't have ended any way better. And also against the leading a game, the referee telling me after the game that you were the man of the match. I mean, that's always nice to hear. We went through loads of highs and lows this year. This year have been a roller coaster for me. And one thing I learned was to try to let go as fast as possible. Negative thoughts in your head won't help you with anything. Sometimes the day after a bad game you just gotta forget about it and fill your head with new positive energy. And the second thing I want to bring out is the quote that I talked about earlier. Sooner or later time will tell. As we saw we didn't have the best spring ever, we didn't perform as a team, we didn't win games, I had some bad games, but then if you look at autumn we changed it, we turned it around and that's why I think time will tell if you're just focusing on improving, focusing on the team, getting the team to play together, play better, then eventually the results will come and to be able to play better, perform better and then climb in the tier level. But then we gotta be honest, it's much easier to play football, to have fun, to improve when you're winning. It's super difficult to learn and let go from a game. It's almost impossible to think time will tell when you have lost four or five games in a row. And how are you going to have fun and improve when you feel like you're not performing during games? At least trying is better than not doing. I try to show you everything, the highs and the lows, and talk about the things I learn as I get better day by day. And I'm doing this because I know the journey is filled with ups and downs. And I think the highs and the lows together makes you a better person and a better player. And during this year, I cried, I smiled, I had bad games, I had great games. I went through the highs, I went through the lows, and I showed you the journey and I will continue so. And in the end, I know I'm a better player than I was one year ago, and that's what's matter the most.